Action research is an approach to change which emphasizes the relationship between knowledge generation and action. Action's at the, the heart of it. We learn as much from action as we do from the inquiries that might lead to action. Um, it's a process which involves repeated cycles of activity, sometimes over a year or more. And that those um, activities include assessing the situation that you face, identifying what could happen in response, building theories of change around these, planning action, taking action, assessing the impact of that action, and then looking again at your situation to see how it's changed. It's congruent with a complex understanding of the world and with the sort of adaptive processes which are necessary in order to navigate that complex world. It's a sustainable change strategy because it builds real ownership amongst the stakeholders. Um, and that's very much in contrast to a lot of international development projects which, which have little traction beyond their project end. Um, we've used in IDS, in our team here, uh, participatory action research and systemic action research in multiple contexts, including working in the UK on social exclusion, uh, in Mali on peace building, in India and Nepal on slavery and bonded labour. Um, we're working uh, now on a big programme on worst forms of child labour in Nepal and Bangladesh. And we can start to see, have seen over the years, um, the ways in which donors have started to put in actually millions of pounds into these participatory processes. Um, so that's very exciting. We've also seen an explosion of uh, different sorts of methodologies which are built into these participatory processes. Um, and you can read more about that in the SAGE Handbook of Participatory Research, which we recently edited. Um, just to give you a, a flavour of what an action research group can look like, in our Mali program, Vestibule d'Alepe, um, we have been working with groups on the ground. One of them spent some time looking at stories of uh, change in their own lives, analyzing them collectively, and they focused on mediation. They identified that a lot of the government mediation processes had failed them, but equally a lot of the traditional processes had failed them. They wanted to find something different, which was more inclusive, but closer to their culture. Um, so they built a new vision of what a vestibule could look like, um, which included women, which included young people. And they built a, a large building um, themselves in order to hold this, this space, put a lot of money into it themselves, put a lot of time and effort into it themselves. And this was the embodiment of, of ownership. And we'll see over the next year or, or two how the adoption of this new strategy changes um, the mediation outcomes. Um, that's just a small example. If you're interested in exploring more of what participatory action research can do, we'll be running our annual participatory action research short course uh, in June. Um, and uh, you're welcome to find out more and hopefully we'll see you there. Thank you.